that's what she said, and I was like, whoa, put the pan away. Anyway, we're going to jump back into the circle. So you've seen chords, you've seen secants, and now we're going to talk about secants and tangents together, combined. Let's re recap real quick. Secants intersect the circle at two points as well as go through the circle to an outside point, which in this case is E. Tangent touches the outside circle at one point, but does not go through the circle, and it extends out to a point E. And our formula basically says the whole piece of that secant, so AE, times the outside piece, which is BE, equals our tangent piece squared, which is that CE. So basically things you've seen before, we're just combining them together. All right, so let's see this baby in action. Find the value of x. So if you remember our theorem, it's the whole piece, which in this case it is 5 plus x, right? If you think of it that way. And Siegel's going to beautifully write it in parentheses. Siegel's on top of his game. And that's equal to our tangent piece, which in this case is... Wait, you missed something. You forgot something. What did I forget to do? That's the whole piece. Times. Oh, it's a good thing Siegel's here to help us out. Times the outside, which is x, right? Great job, Siegel. See, we got to give Siegel an A for the day. Is equal to our tangent piece squared, which in this case is 6 squared, which is that piece right there. Perfect. And now we have to distribute. So we have to distribute that x through. When we do that, we're going to get 5x plus x squared equals 36. Uh-oh, how do we do this? So look, what you would do from this point on is you would subtract 36 from both sides, right? No, we're but not we're, we're not going to go through it. If you get to this part, great job. No, we're not. We well done. We've got to look at different. Okay, let's look at this one maybe. This one might be a little better. Yes, this one will be better. This one's better. Because it's times an outside piece, which is not an x. Oh, okay. This one's much better. Don't worry about that first one, but you did a good job. Okay. <laughs> so let's keep rolling. So here we go. Remember, we're going to take our secant piece, set it equal to our tangent piece. So here we go. The length of the whole thing is x plus 4 times the outside piece, which in this case is just 4. See, just the outside piece. And that's equal to our tangent, which is 6 squared. All right, and so remember, we still have to distribute whether it's a variable or a number. So when we do 4 times x and 4 times 4, we're going to get 4x plus 16 equals 36. When we subtract 16 on both sides, we're going to get 4x, once those beautifully go away, equals 20. And then we just divide by 4 on both sides, and we get x equals Cinco, which is five. Very good. Nice job. And if they were to ask you to find the length of that piece, you just plug in five for x, and you get five plus four is nine. One more. One last problem. Find the value of x. So this one looks exactly the same as the one before, just that they move the nose on the on the beak there if you see it. So look. The length of the whole piece, x plus 9, it's the secant, very good, Siegel, x plus 9 times the outside piece, 9, equals our tangent, which in this case is 15 squared. So we distribute the 9 just like we did in the last two problems, and we get 9x plus 81 equals 15 squared, which is 225. Then we, <laughs> Thanks. then we subtract 81 from both sides, and we get 9x equals 144. Does that look right? Is that right? 144 would be absolutely right, yep. Yeah, okay. And then we have to divide by 9 on both sides. And when we do that, we get a big fat 16. Mm -hmm. Right? 9 times 1, 9, yeah, 5, 54, oh, yeah. 6. Perfect. Oh. So x is 16. And once again, if they asked you to find the length of the whole secant, you would plug in the 16 for x, and you'd get 16 plus 9 is 25. And that's how you work with secants and tangents.